previously on The Next Step. Internationals is in Miami. We started as this small studio that went to regionals, and now look at us. So did I miss anything? I mean, James quit the band after him and Riley got into a fight about it. The fight was also about Ella. You know, Ella, right? What are you guys talking about? How you would never mess with me. <laughs> of course I would. I'm from a rival team. Elvin and Talia aren't allowed to talk. He's only had 24 pirouettes. Maybe 25. I made you a map of all the sweet spots in the studio, in the music room, and some outside as well. Thank you, that's so sweet. No problem. I'm Michelle, Kate made her an alternate. Wait, Michelle's an alternate? Yeah, so I guess you didn't really miss much. I guess a lot has happened since I've been gone. It feels so amazing that we've finally arrived in Miami for internationals. I can't believe this day has finally come. We're at the internationals venue to register, and just seeing all the different flags and teams from around the world is just making it all the more real. <laughs> oh my god! We're finally here! <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. This is gonna be incredible. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a life-changing experience. Bonjour, bonjour. Dzień dobry. I've been so excited for internationals that I taught myself how to say hello in 55 languages. Ciao, bella, bella, buongiorno. Ciao, piacere, piacere. My girlfriend, well, my almost girlfriend, is a genius. Oh, parla italiano. This Italian dancer is being really friendly, but I have no idea what she's saying, and it's starting to make me really nervous. Io tanto felice di essere qui. No, no, vieni qua, vieni qua. I'm in Miami. Okay, ciao, piacere. Maybe I shouldn't have learned hello in so many languages. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Hey, you guys. Guess what? Apparently, all the North American studios register tomorrow, which means we get an extra day off. Hey! Whoa. I know! <laughs> I'm just gonna go figure out where our dressing rooms are. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, guys, I really want to do a tour of Miami. I found one that goes right to Drake's house, and I'm dying to go. I think those are kind of expensive, no? Well, luckily for you guys, it's free, because I'll take you on one myself. Why do I want to give a tour of Miami? Because Miami has everything. It has oceans. It has nightlife. Day life, afternoon life. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> what are you filming? Just Hey! Hey! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Seeing Ella is really awesome just because I haven't seen her in like a week, but <laughs> it seems like forever just because we spent every day together when she was back at the next step. My team just finished registering and I've got the rest of the day off. So I was wondering if you wanted to come with me to this authentic Cuban restaurant I found online. My treat. Free food? I'm in. Cool. Great. Uh, just give me a second. Yeah. Yo. Uh, James. Really? Yo. Um, I'm gonna go to lunch with Ella, so I'll see you later. Right now? Yeah. All right. Okay, bye. I was supposed to spend the day with James, but there'll be plenty of time for that. I never get to see Ella, so it'll be fun to spend time with her. I didn't know I was gonna have to schedule Riley time. You know I don't like to schedule. researched this Cuban restaurant and she decided to take me there for lunch today. I have never tasted Cuban food that is this delicious. It's really awesome. Okay, so far I've had dim sum in Beijing and I've overdosed on croissants in Paris. <laughs> wow, you've been to internationals a lot, haven't you? It's been so much fun spending time with her and we still have the rest of the day to do stuff, so I'm excited. I forgot my wallet. What? Can you spot me? Please. 
Um, no, not really. I, I didn't bring anything. You said lunch was on you today. Oh, it's fine. I'll just run back and go and get it. Uh, no, no, no. I can run back and grab it. No, my I run faster. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. You run like a turtle. No, you know, maybe I should. It's my treat. I'm paying. I'll run back and go oh, and get it. It's cool. I can cook it. Seriously, mine. just stall and order another dessert. I'll be back soon, I promise, okay? Ella. See you in a bit. Sorry. Great. Yeah, just leave me here. All alone. With no wallet, no money. And, you know, no way to pay at all. Thanks, Ella. Yes! Woo! Woo! Look at the oh, waves. We are finally here. We got the Miami Beach. I'm so excited to get a tour of Miami. I mean, I've never been here. It's so hot outside. The sand is just seeping between my toes, and the water is amazing. OK, I'm finally free. OK, wait. What is this for? Well, if you must know, this is Pacific Ocean water. My uncle North North gave it to me. Wait, pause. Your last name is North? Yeah. So that means that your name is West North? Well, if you include my middle name is West East North. OK. Yeah. So what happened to South? That's my mom. Yeah. I have this bottle of water that my uncle sent me from the Pacific Ocean. And I'm going to dump it into the Atlantic Ocean and see what happens. I don't know if it's going to cause a nuclear reaction or Probably. something. Nothing's going to But we're going to try it out, all right? It'll, of course Let's I know. It's it. mostly bizarre. Are you guys ready for this? It's water. This has never been done before in history. And I'm about to do it right now, OK? Do it. Ready? Yes. Do it. It's water. So I pour the Pacific Ocean water into the Atlantic, and nothing happens, which is perfect, because water is water. And I think I just proved that. Nothing well, happened, because uh, it's next water. Next up on this tour is? It's West. <laughs> West. West. Wait. West. West. Wait. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Oh, um, actually, could I, could I get another one of those tres leches? Another tres leches? Yeah, sure. actually, another one for her as well. Too. Two yeah. tres leches. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. I'll be right back. Okay, thanks. They're really good. <laughs> I have been waiting for Ella for like 20 minutes now, and I just, I really don't know where she is. Hello? Hi, Riley. Um, I won't be able to make it, sorry. What? My team booked space in the auditorium for my solo, so I have to take it. Well, uh, sorry, bye. Dos, tres leches. Yes, thank you. You are very welcome. <laughs> Enjoy it. Um, yeah, could I also actually get a menu? I'm starting to get a little hungry again. <laughs> sure, like after the serve? Yes, but, no. yeah. <laughs> of course, I'll be back. Right? Thank you. The only way I can think of stalling is by ordering more food. So hopefully I'll figure out a way to get out of this. Can you please just pick a restaurant already? We have been out here for weeks. Oh, man. A mediocre restaurant with a mediocre sweet spot is not going to be good enough. Me and James are kind of scouting the area for possible uh, date options for me and Talia. James, you don't understand. The sweet spot has to be the most important part. Wait a sec. This is perfect. If this was a restaurant right here, it would be perfect. Or a picnic. No, 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 no. You cannot eat here. Definitely not. Plus, Riley is in some sort of trouble. She's stuck at a restaurant or something. I gotta get going. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's more important here? My future love life or some problem that Riley has? I don't respond to Riley's text right away. True, that's true. Because I got a lot on my hands right now with Eldon. Moving on. I've been here now for a very long time. I've eaten everything on the menu, and I can definitely tell that the waiter's starting to get very suspicious. So I'm trying to text James, but he's not replying. Te digo que esto está muy raro. Yo llevo tiempo en esta industria y esto yo nunca lo he visto. Esto me huele mal a mí. Sí, tienes razón. Pero no te preocupes. Yo me encargo. You seem to have uh, quite the appetite. Yeah, <laughs> really hungry today. Mm. I've never seen someone eat so many dishes at the same time. Yeah, I'm a dancer, so it just goes right through me. Not, not right through me, it's, it's a metabolism thing. My original plan to order more food to stall, 
um, is kind of backfiring because it's just making the bill get bigger and bigger. There's a lovely couple here that have been waiting for this table for over an hour. So, um, what's going on? I have to come clean. The manager's getting really annoyed, so I have to just spill the beans. Okay, well, my friend that was here earlier was supposed to pay for this because she said it was her treat, but then she forgot her wallet, and I didn't bring anything to pay for this, so she decided to go get her wallet and... I give you two options. One, you can work off this bill here by serving some tables. What's my second option? I can call the police if you prefer. Where's my apron? Good choice. Okay. I prefer not to be arrested in Miami, so looks like I'm going to be a waitress. <laughs> Not a sweet spot yet? Nope. Right now I'm with Eldon trying to look for a place that he can take Talia on a date in anticipation for him to hit 30 pirouettes. What, it's not sweet enough? No, James, it's not. That's why I'm still looking. Eldon, anywhere on the grass will work. Talia won't mind. This spot is great for me, not Talia. She would hate it. I'm done. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. You see, you see why your dress is not wrinkled? That's the humidity. You see, you see all your hair? Yeah. It's all poofy? Yep. Yeah. That's the humidity. Right now, we're just standing here, taking in the humidity. Wes, it's Miami. We know it's humid. Put them up. OK? We're in Miami. I learned all my stuff about Miami from everywhere, from the internet, from newspapers, from the back of a cereal box. You can literally learn anything from anywhere at any time. I want us to stand here, and I want us to feel the hu- Sorry. I want you guys to stand here and feel the humidity. Yeah. That's vitamin D. Oh. Humidity. Yeah. It, it rhymes. I yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel it. I feel it. Now let's go. Uh, wait, do we have to keep our arms up? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's go. Hi. I have been forced to work as a waitress in order to pay off the bill that Ella left me with. Specials. You guys want you guys want to know special just the things. Okay, so um I wish I wrote that down. Being a waitress is uh, a lot harder than I thought, just because a lot of the um, menu items are in Spanish, and I don't speak Spanish. There's this one dish, and it's it's called canelli, and it's um, rice with with octopus on it. Keeping track of more than one table is really hard, and it's a little bit hard to communicate that to the customers. I'll get to you when I get to you. But you know, I think they're getting it. A little. <laughs> Alden, we have been to a hundred different restaurants. Can you please just choose one already? I'll know when it's right. As soon as I see it, I'll know. You don't know Talia like I do. <sighs> well, and Riley keeps texting me. James isn't really being helpful at all. All he really wants to do is go and save Riley, but what's important here, James? Talia. At one point, I'm gonna have to deal with that. At one point, I'm gonna need a love life. And what happened to Ella? I thought Ella was with Riley. Can't she deal with that? Yeah. Yo, I thought so too, man. Nah, you know what? No. Yeah. You know what, Riley? This is what you get for bailing on me to hang out with Ella. Put your leg down, man. Can't both be sitting out here like this. Put your leg down. I was like this from the top. Those chips are still here. They're not on table seven. That's where they need to go. Manny. Yeah. New waitress. Probably not very good. She's working off some of that appetite she had. All right. Do you know what a baker's dozen is? 13. That's right. Why do they call it that? Um, back in the olden days, bakers used to give their customers an extra one to make them feel good. That is also correct. I like the new girl. Well, I, 
not used to that. The chef um, seems a little eccentric, and it's it's just a lot of stress right now. What do you need? Um, uh, two pen yayas and uh, another empanada. Okay. Anthony, we need two empanada and two carne asado. Your Spanish is the worst. Gracias. <laughs> we have been walking down Ocean Drive for the majority of the afternoon now, and you have yet to pick a restaurant. Any of the places would have worked. The first place would have worked. Second place would have worked. The ninth place would have worked. It doesn't matter where you go, man. It's who you're with. I have endured many very, very angry text messages from Riley. So you know what? I'm actually done with this, and I'm gonna go deal with that, because she is right in there. But hey, bud, we had a great day. Well, we tried. You know what? We, we did have a great day. No, we didn't. It was awesome. It's so much fun, James. All right, so this is called Wynwood Walls in the graffiti district of Miami. Miami is known for graffiti, and especially since graffiti and tagging was considered a crime in other places, here is considered art, which is what it's supposed to be. Artists from all across the world are able to come here and demonstrate their art. So now West is taking us to a bunch of these graffiti walls, and the art is just so beautiful. The graffiti is amazing. I mean, obviously these people are really talented, and it looks cool. As you can see here, there's a big S, there's a big K, which stands for Southside Kings. He's an artist at this stuff all over the place. But moving on. <laughs> Don't mind the bite marks. Okay. Hi. There. Go. Oh. oh wait, these are these are switched. Okay. James, Eldon. Oh my gosh. Yo. What is with your apron? When I see Riley as a waitress, I'm confused. I have no idea what she's doing as a waitress. How did she just get a job all of a sudden? <laughs> well, Ella and I ate $88 worth of food. Most of it was me. Because I didn't bring anything, I had to work it off in tips, and I've gotten it down to $87. OK. So you need $87 from me, or else your life continues to be miserable as a waitress. Yeah. Table for two. Right there works. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right now. Miss, no, 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 if we no, no, could no. start off with some waters yeah. and uh, some menus. I'm gonna get them back for this. Please, please tip me big. Okay. Riley, they just sat down. You cannot ask them to tip you. Riley is a terrible waitress, very stressed out um, all the time. This is probably going to be one of the highlights of our trip to Miami. I have done everything you asked me to do. I've been the best server that I've ever been in my entire career. Could you please just pay me my tip? My chicken was quite dry. To me, personally, the chicken seemed like it wasn't really made with love. That, oh, oh, geez. OK, Riley, there's no need to hit. We'll pay you. I have had enough of this serving thing. So I hit him. And to be honest, it feels really good. <laughs> I'm going to keep hitting you. Jeez. Uh, until you wow. pay me OK, your tip. OK. Oh. Oh. Wow, Riley. Jeez. Are you kidding? Oh. oh, my. Take it. Take the money. I'll see you at the hotel. I need to learn how to relax. <sighs> okay. Can I take your order? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got the money to pay off my bill. I got to hit James. And uh, Eldon decided that this is where he wants to take Talia on their date. So international seems to be starting off pretty well. This is so cool. <laughs> OK. I left the best for last. This okay. is a piece of artwork that really inspired me the first time I saw it. It was done by an artist named Chor Boogie. He got his first paintbrush when he was in kindergarten, and from that day forward, I mean, he knew that he was going to be an artist. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I really love this piece of art because it's all about love. You see, the guy over there, the girl over there, they're all connected. 
and they meet up in the middle with love. The graffiti is amazing, and this one is by far the most amazing one I've seen. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah. Chore boogie. Hey, boogie, yeah. yeah. I've taken everyone on this tour. We've had the greatest day, and I just feel like dancing. You know what, speaking of boogie, you know what that makes me want to do? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Get down. <gasps> no! Oh! Woo! up not being bad at all. I'm in Miami with my best friends. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for internationals. This has been an incredible day. I mean, how can we not join in? It's been the most strange tour, but really, really fun. And this is a perfect way to end the day. Why not join in? We all love dance, and West did an amazing tour. It's a good distraction before we have to go compete at internationals.